So I'm back home now, boys, and I went ahead. I got all the parts that we added on dusted with some paint, and I dusted this little shelf we actually put in as well. As you can see, the trailer wasn't even painted in this area here, so it's kind of like surface rust there anyway. So I'm not too concerned about that, but where we actually welded and put the new plate in, I went ahead and painted that up. And the front half, we just had to drill a hole and run the boat up through that. That's good. I went ahead and dusted all the, the top layers of where we cut, but that was like a little bit of exposed metal. Got all that nice and done. I'm gonna have to do a new driven film sticker at the bottom down there, but that's no big deal. Also on the fender itself, I went ahead and got all of that dusted up. That's nice and good on both ends. Flip this around. Show you guys this side as well. All dusted up. That way it just protect and we won't have any, any rust coming in anytime soon. Try to make it last. The only thing left that I gotta try to do is I do got a little bit of a rubber gasket that I'm gonna try to put on the end here so that when it lays down on top of this, it'll make a good contact. I'm gonna try to do that now. And then from there, I got a piece of rubber that got like the double-sided tape that I'm gonna run along the back here. And that's just so when I slide this down into the, the little uh, slot we made, that'll kind of press against the fender, keeping all this rattle down. That should definitely eliminate all the noises, but it wasn't that bad coming home. Uh, it's just a little bit of vibration. That's just because this part is actually stitch welded on that side, as you can see. So when we cut all those stitch wheels, this giant inner piece kind of just rattles like this. This rattles itself, not the fender. The, the actual fender part is solid. Like with it bolted down, guys, I actually sat on it and it, it doesn't move a bit. So it's nice and firm. It's just this inner piece, being that they just use tack wheels all around, it, it's really flimsy and that kind of vibrates, but it ain't going nowhere. I was just trying to, one, silence all the, the rattle, and two, make sure it's kind of sealed, like, pretty tight so that water doesn't splash. I mean, water can't anyway splash up that high. It's kind of, it goes way down below the rail of the trailer, so we should be good, but I think it's good. I'm just excited, man, to see, like, look at the difference, bro, in the fender and the tire. Like, look how tall that fender is over there and look at the tire height like this is gonna make the biggest difference guys trying to get a car on this trailer like i can see it without even having a car look at how low the tire line is and look at how tall the fender is you guys see that that's gonna be crazy different so we should definitely be able to easily once we pull a fender pull the fender off we should be able to drive a car right on here and get out of it that's that's my main goal as long as we can exit a car then we can throw the fender back on and we can make our way right on down the highway which is kind of how u-haul works they just have a little bit different system but this will work just fine guys we got stainless steel bolts so no rust there we got stainless steel um nuts no rust there everything's all they're, they're both 916 i got this throwaway 916 wrench that i'm going to put in the box along with the other little tools and stuff that I have. And that way, whenever we have to pull it, we just grab it out of the box, pull the fender off, slap the car on, put the fender back on, and then, yeah, we are on our way, man. So, I think we're good. Right now, what I'm gonna try to do is go ahead and stick this fender on, on camera. I'm gonna see if I can prop the camera up. I don't have the stand out here. Just to show you guys how it works and how quick it is. And then from there, we might try to close out this video because i'm not sure exactly how much footage i have of this so let me go ahead i gotta check the back i think i need to dust the back of this fender where we grinded the back surfaces smooth so i'm gonna do that and then we'll try to get it installed on camera again guys you can see there was no paint beyond that line right there on the trailer so i mean you can't expect it so much it's a it's a basic trailer so I wasn't looking for some type of crazy paint scheme or anything, but 
this is just what you don't see because they put it together then they paint it so the whole trailer looks good but this stuff like this is completely uncolored or nothing so i'm gonna lay a coat on this and we should be good so let me do that There she is, boys. All snug. I put that fuel hose in between to kind of tighten it up some. And uh, I think, shoot, I think that's golden, man. That shit is gonna work. That is gonna work. Got pollen fingerprints all over it now, but it is what it is. It's that season. First, there's so much stuff. Like low as this is, with me out of it, it clear. You know, with my weight, it kind of sit on. Yeah. That's so much. Damn. Well, shout out to your boy. Everything like look at that, look at that little square that we weld that to, to hold the back of the fender. Look down here, see this little square, yeah. Like, see the fender, uh -huh. see it go it's, right yeah. into the slot. Like, bro, that's it. But, yeah, guys, with that being said, man, I'm gonna wrap this video up right here. I think it's time we start looking for something to pick up, man, to, to try with this trailer. What do y'all think? Leave a comment down below your thoughts. I will catch y'all next time. Guys, remember, respect our bills. Peace out.